Ramadan Kareem, everybody. Today, myself and Mr. Garrett will take you through a strength workout using our body weight only. All exercises must be performed in a controlled manner, so please do not rush your repetitions. Where possible, we are going to demonstrate two variations of the exercise, so please feel free to select the movement most appropriate to you. So the format will look like this. We will do a warm up with me lasting two to three minutes, and then our main activity will comprise of six exercises alternating between myself and Mr. Garrett. Uh, and for the record, we're not going to be playing music today, so please feel free to play your own music in your own homes. OK, let's get started. Warming up, make sure you've got a nice open space, moving our arms backwards, making nice big circles, nice and controlled. And forwards. Full extension of our arms. Nice big circles. OK, let's go into torso twists. Really get our shoulder cross. We go in. OK, we're slowly going to increase our heart rate. We're going to move into high knees. OK, let's go into high knees using our arms, lifting our knees up as high as possible. <clears throat> We've got six exercises today. There'll be two variations. Please choose whichever one is appropriate to you. Okay, shake it off. Into some star jumps. <clears throat> Good work. Keep it going. Rest, shake it off. Let's do some half burpees. So we're going to go down onto the floor. I'm not going to touch the floor with my chest. I'm going to stand up. Let's do five of these. Two, three, four, five. Good. We're going to finish off with fast feet. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Fast feet, using your arms, using your legs. Let's go faster. Give me 60%. Let's go faster again, 80%. Keep it going. And 100%, flat out. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Whew. Take a little break. Okay. Get some water if you need to. We're going to go into our six exercises. I will start and then I will pass you over to Mr. Garrett once we, once we complete uh, my run. So first exercise, push-ups. We're going to do three sets of 10 repetitions. So I'm going to move the screen down so we can get better here. Okay. We'll demonstrate the two variations to begin with. The first one, simplified version, I'm going to be on my knees, hands on the ground, I'm going to lower my chest to the ground and back to the start position. That is option one. Option two, knees off the floor, body nice and straight, lower myself down, back to the start. We're going to do the repetitions together. Please don't rush ahead. We're going to do this in a controlled manner. OK, set one, 10 reps. Get ready. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Rest. <coughs> Have a drink if you need it. <coughs> So we're currently working on our pectoral muscles. It also targets our triceps, our anterior deltoids, and our abdomen. <clears throat> Two sets to go. Remember, we do this is a controlled workout. We're not rushing. We're not against the clock. Just taking our time. Okay, set number two. Let's get ready. Let's go together. <laughs> Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Good job. Excellent. Two sets complete. One to go. Feed off the tall major and minor. Really working. One set, 10 repetitions, and I'll pass you over to Mr. Garrett. Remember, take a drink when you need it. <clears throat> okay, let's finish off the set. Let's get ready. <clears throat> let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. Good job. Take a water break. I'm going to pass you over to Mr. Garrett. Good job. Good afternoon and Ramadan Kareem. Um, I'm going to focus on the lower leg strength this afternoon. Um, the most important aspect of this is that it is controlled nice and slow. If you start to feel a burn towards the end of the set, you know that you are doing the correct technique and therefore you're going to benefit from doing this exercise. If you don't feel the, the, the burn, it probably means you're going too fast. So I'm going to show you two variations. The first one is for the car break. We're going to start with two feet together. Okay, you might want to use a wall or partner just to support yourself. We're going to go for a count of two seconds up. So one thousand, two thousand to the top. So you are now pointing on your tiptoes. At the top of the push, you're going to hold it. What we call an isometric contraction. And then you're going to lower yourself down for two seconds. So in total, it's a count of six. So you can do two feet, that's one variation. If you feel that's too easy and you want to make it harder, then it's quite simple. You're going to go to a one leg car break. Lift one leg up, and then you're going to go 1,000, 2,000, hold. 1,000, 2,000, hold. 1,000, 2,000, down. We're going to go for three sets of 10. And then I'm going to pass you back over to Mr. Williams. So here we go. I'm going to go for a one legged one. So, 1,000, 2,000, up, pull, do, nice and slowly back down, there's one. Back up again, nice and slowly, pull, and back down again, there's two, and up for two, pull for two, down for two, there's three, up for two, Hold for two, down for two, there's four, keep going, that's five, 
Once you control down that set, it's starting to feel the burn now. That's seven. That's eight. Two more left. We will swap legs. Nine. Start to feel the glutes activated now. There's ten, so I'm going to swap legs. If you've done two feet, you may want to uh, have a quick rest, or you can do a double set. It's up to you. I'm going to swap legs. So up for two and hold. Down for two. Up for the two. Hold. Nice and slowly back down. You get the most benefit if you're slowly down. Up there for two, down for two, nice and slow. That's three. Back up again. Hold in. Down for two, that's four. That's five. Six. You got to feel the bed. That's seven. Feel the burn now. Eight, nice and controlled. Nine, and one more. Hold it for two seconds. One thousand, two thousand, slow it down. Okay, give yourself 30 seconds rest. Shake it off. So, the idea of this is using your body weight. Use your body weight. Um, it promotes a lot of strength, prevents injuries, good posture, which is going to be more beneficial if you continue doing this at an early age. It's going to be more beneficial for when you get older. So we've got five seconds left. Okay, two foot to the one foot. Here we go again. So, nice control, don't rush it. There's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. Got the bone coming now. That's seven. That's eight. Nine, one more on the right leg for me. We'll swap over. You feel the double footed. Take a rest or do a double set for you. And left leg now. Always make sure you do both left and right side of the body. Body balance. And we can eradicate any injuries or any weaknesses. Three. That's four. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight. I'm going to struggle. Nine. And one more. And slow it down. Okay. Thirty seconds. Shake it off. One more set. Before we go back over to Mr. Williams, uh, it should really start to be a struggle now. If you feel if you feel like your legs are wobbling, don't push it too far. If you feel like eight is your maximum or six is your maximum in this last set, then stop at that. Don't feel like you need to get to ten, just because we don't want to, uh, to tear any muscle fibers. Okay, last set then. Last set one. Here we go. We're right foot first. Nice and tall posture. One, hold up the two, there's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, there's the bird on seven, a bit of a wobble now, eight, that technique, 
Keep that control. Nine. Last one from the right side. There's ten. And we go again. One. Bit of sweat on me. Two. Three. Control it down. Don't rush it. It's four. There's five. There's six. There's seven. There's burn on eight. Nine and the last one. Ten. Good. Shake it off. Well done. So that's your gastronemus and Soleus um, worked out. Mr. Williams, over to you. Good job, Mr. Garrett. My gastronemus and Soleus are burning. Okay, exercise number three. I'm going to take you through two variations of leg raises. So the simplified version, we're going to lay on our backs, head on the floor. I'm just going to lift my knees towards my chest and straighten my legs out. That's variation number one. I'm going to make it slightly harder. We're just going to keep our legs straight and we're going to lift our legs straight up into the air. But I'm not going to put my legs or feet down on the floor at any point during the set. Okay, ready? Three sets of 10 repetitions. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Don't put your feet down. Six. Good job. Seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. Good job. Good job. So leg raises. This is really going to strengthen our hip flexors and it targets obviously our abdomen. <coughs> Good job. It's nice to see Mr. Garrett and Mr. Mosley joining in on screen. Well done, boys. <coughs> and I'm sure we have lots of students joining in with us today. All right, we've got two sets to go. Let's strengthen those hip flexors. Are we ready? Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Keep your feet off the ground. Five. Halfway. Six. Keep it controlled. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Take some water on if you need it. <clears throat> One set to go. Once this is complete, we're halfway through today's workout. Now Mr. Gad's got some really tough exercises coming up. <clears throat> Take your time, keep it controlled. <clears throat> Here we go, final set. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Good job. Keep going. Five, halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Good job. Thank you. Back to you, Mr. Garrett. Thanks for the um, good work. Okay, the next one. So, Mr. Williams is concentrated there on the core, the abdominals, and the, uh, the psoas, major, minor muscles. I'm going to look at the back muscles now, the gluteus uh, and the hamstrings. So, the two variations this is called a glute bridge. 
and you don't like flat on your back. The easy variation is two feet on the ground, head on the floor, palm facing down. You see if you can like lift up on your hips, but your palm is off the floor. Hold that for two and down again. There's one. To make that harder, we can go for a single leg with glue, in which case we're only going to do five. So if you're going to do a double leg wrist glue, go for ten. Otherwise, do five on each leg. We'll just demonstrate that. So the knees. Uh, Need to tilt the camera down a bit, Mr. Garrett. Okay. Instruction to tilt the camera down. That's it. Okay. That's it. So this is the new one. The hard one is you can bring your leg in line with the opposite thigh. Okay, so I'm just going to lift up the hips. That just puts a little bit more uh, load on the right hand string. So I'm going to go for a count of ten. Two feet. Go for ten. Otherwise, we'll do five and put each leg. Here we go. So nice and slowly. Nice and controlled. One. Hold that there slightly two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Stop legs if you're doing the hard variation. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Let's take a rest. Take some water if you need to. Have a little stretch. Shake out that lactic acid. We go again in fifteen seconds. So this is step number two. Okay, five seconds left. Go at your own pace, make sure it's controlled. Two seconds up, hold it slightly, and then slowly down. Here we go. That's one. That's two. Three. Four. Five, so legs. One, two, three, four, and that's five. Four. Take a second rest. You may find that one leg feels slightly easier than the other. I might just be a sign that there's a stronger side that maybe needs to be more to be, um, balanced with the other side. Keep drinking plenty of water, keep stretching. Flexibility is really important when we're doing this. And we've got one final set before Mr. Williams does this final exercise. Into position. Don't get carried away, controlled. Very really. So again, nice and controlled, no risks. There's one. Two. Three, four, five, swap over, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one. So, there we go. Here's that. A glute bridge for the hamstrings, the gluteals, and the lower back. Mr. Williams, over to you. Thanks, Mr. Garrett. Okay, final one from me. Shoulder press. I'm just ensure my volume is on. Yes, it is. So, shoulder press. How on earth are we going to do shoulder press? I hear you say. So, I think we're all familiar in gymnastics with the pike position. Yeah, but we're not going to do pike, we're going to do the pike upside down. So if we can go into our plank position to begin with, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my head 
It's going to be in, directly in between my arms. So my eyes are looking through my legs at the wall behind me. Okay, and that's my position. So variation number one, we do this on our knees. Okay. So then we're going to lower our arms and our head to the ground. And we're going to push back up. Okay, this is the simplified version. We want to increase the difficulty and go up off our knees. Remember, ensure my hips are nice and high. My head directly in, in line with my arms. Eyes looking at the back wall. I'm going to lower my head to the ground and push back up. You decide which movement is best for you. For this one, we're just going to do three sets of five repetitions. So we're really going to make sure that we can do this nice and slow, nice and controlled. If you find it too difficult, please drop down on the knees. Are we ready? Find your position. Hips in the air. Head between your arms. Eyes to the back wall. Let's go. One. Two. Three, four, five. Good job. <clears throat> so muscles we're the targeting this time is anterior deltoid, back of my arm, my tricep, and a big one for the upper pectoral muscle found on our chest. So we've got two sets remaining with me. I pass you over to Mr. Garrett for the final exercise of the day. <clears throat> okay, set two. Get ready. Here we go. One, two, three. Keep your hips nice and high. Four. And five. Good job. <clears throat> Quite a complex movement. Like I said, if you find it difficult, please use your needs for assistance. Okay, we've got one to go. Take a drink if you need it. We'll go in about 10 seconds. <clears throat> Ready? Find your position. Let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. Good effort. <clears throat> Take a drink. We might need it now. Okay, Mr. Garrett, over to you for the final exercise of the day. Bye, everyone. Hi, welcome back. Thanks, Mr. Williams. Good job. Um, some good hard work there. Final exercise is going to focus on your quadriceps, the front thigh muscles. Um, I'm going to use a wall, but if you haven't got a wall, then you can basically just do it in midair, like you're sitting on a chair. So I'll demonstrate that one. So basically, um, I'm going to use this clip here to make sure that my knees are at 90 degrees, okay, and have my shoulders against my shoulders. If you haven't got a wall, then you can just pretend that you're sitting on the toilet or sitting on the chair, okay, put your hands on your shoulders, that will be uh, equally uh, as beneficial. The variation is, if you're using the wall, is that you can go onto your toes as well. So if I get to 90 degrees, I just try to lift my toes. I'm going to work with my quadriceps and the soleus. So that's completely up to you. We're going to do it for 10 seconds. Uh, I can guarantee by the, the third set on the 10th second, your quads will be uh, full of lactic acid and you'll feel that burn. That just means that you've got the technique absolutely spot on. Okay, here we go then. Let's have a watch. And let's go. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
start to feel the burn now already. That's okay, the longer it goes on, just enhances that endurance. Got 20 seconds recovery. I'd just like to point out that this has been quite a, a well um, constructed workout. It considers all parts of the, the major muscles in the body. The best workouts are ones where you get a nice balance of upper body, lower body, front and back. Okay, here's the second set. You're going to be cheating the rest of recovery, nice to gaze at the knee joint, hand on the shoulders, and count. Seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and gate and relax. 30 seconds on the watch. Last set. Um, I hope you've had enjoyed this workout session. Don't forget there are thousands of different variations. Make sure that you utilize some of this lockdown time just to keep yourself busy, keep yourself active. Benefits are enormous of doing physical activity, both mentally and physically, and it also enhances your academics as well. Okay, last last set. Let's go. Hands and shoulders. Right, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half, eight, nine, nine and a half, ten. Ooh, feel the burn. Right. That was Feel the Burn session. Well done. Congratulations. Make sure you drink plenty of water. After this, just do a little bit of light stretching on all the main muscles. Um, have a good rest of the week. Stay safe, wash your hands, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Tomorrow, it's myself and Mr. Mosley. Um, we're going to be doing a cardio session. So we're going to be focusing on working and developing the heart and lungs. Uh, hope to see you then. Bye for now. Oh, <laughs>